Good morning, soldiers. This is Sergeant Merrill, and today we're going to be talking about a growing misconception as we address the difference between magazines versus clips. So if you follow anybody else like me, a firearm enthusiast or an expert or someone who just really likes to talk about guns, you've probably seen a video like this in the past. <laughs> and just ignore that blinking light. I was just, I was getting the, uh, the camera above here and I didn't notice that it was actually picking up uh, the reflection. But you've probably seen something like this before where we address the difference between a magazine and a clip. And if you haven't, good, because this is a growing misconception. And the media just keeps getting it wrong for some reason. They're just so hard set on not understanding the difference. And once you understand the difference, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to address a magazine as a clip. It just completely changes the context of what you're talking about. Like, like this, I took this picture a little while ago and <laughs> it's just, look at the, uh, the little text that they have there. Should large capacity clips be banned? Sure, if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't make any sense. Uh, and we're going to talk about why. So I'm just going to go from left to right here and just explain each one. The one on the left, this is a rifle magazine. It's made by Magpul. It's called the P-Mag, 30 rounder. Even if you had an extended version of this, pay attention, Treyarch, it's not going to be called an extended clip. It would be called an, ex an extended magazine. Now what makes it a magazine is that it will automatically feed the ammunition into the device. So that is to say when the bolt drags that first round into the chamber, another round pops right back up on the magazine and is presented for the next round. And this is done with the spring. So a magazine is anything that automatically presents rounds into the chamber of a weapon. This particular magazine would be referred to as a staggered box magazine. Uh, now this is 5.56 NATO rounds, and when you put them in there, it staggers the ammo from left to right, all the way down to a spring-loaded plate at the bottom, which keeps pressure and keeps ammo all the way toward the top. It's pretty simple, right? That's a magazine. So some people at this point, they'll say, okay, so, so rifles use magazines, so it must be the pistols that use clips. And the answer is no. This is still referred to as a magazine. It automatically loads the ammunition into the device via the spring-loaded, you know, plate at the bottom. Keeps ammo toward the top so that if I were to take ammo out of it, it automatically pops new ammo up. That is a magazine. It is not a clip. It, it doesn't matter what this is for. As long as the device fires ammunition and this automatically loads the ammunition into the bolt, it is a magazine. And that includes whether the magazine is detachable or fixed. With a lot of your hunting rifles, it's fixed. You can't remove the magazine, but it's still referred to as a magazine. Now, with some of those hunting rifles or just rifles that have fixed magazines, you do have clips that you can use to load those magazines. And I hope this isn't confusing, and it shouldn't be, because now we're going to go over what a clip is. This one here to the right, this is a clip. There is no spring. There is no way that it automatically feeds ammunition into a device. It just holds the ammo. That's it. That's all a clip does. It's a way to store ammo, or with some clips, a way to load a magazine, whether fixed or not, a little bit faster. But in most cases, the way most people use them, it's just storage. I mean, usually they'll come in boxes like this. Look at that, 10-round clips. And they kind of look like those things that you put uh, ribbons on, if you're in the military and know what I'm talking about. I mean, they're, they're really simple things. There, there's nothing fancy about a clip. It just holds ammo. So going back to that picture that I showed you in the beginning, should large capacity clips be banned? Well, this seems like a silly conversation then, doesn't it? Why would you ban a way to store ammo? Instead of what he probably meant is banning high capacity magazines, uh, which seems to be all the, the craze right now. But that's not what this video is about. It's just dispelling the difference between the two because this creates ignorance from the beginning in this conversation. If you don't even know the difference, how can, you, we, how can we as gun advocates take your argument seriously? Because you don't even take the time to understand what you're talking about. But not only that, it's, it's the fact that these media organizations have so much more reach than people like me. I mean, this video may get three to 5,000 views. Whereas a couple hundred thousand people probably saw that, that broadcast. Uh, so ignorance spreads ignorance. I'm doing what I can to dispel this misconception. And maybe now that you know you can do the same. 
But that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a rating if you did. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.